This is the Military and Aerospace Electronics Report. I'm John Keller. Since the dawn of human warfare thousands of years ago, every foot soldier at one time or another has wished for a weapon that could shoot around corners. It's been a problem for as long as anyone can remember. Now, any firearm, even bows and arrows, are designed to shoot in straight lines, or what the military calls line of sight. That simply means you have to see the enemy to shoot him, and that's not easy when the ones you're fighting are ducking behind some convenient cover. Okay, shooting around corners sounds kind of silly, but put yourself in the soldier's boots for a second. You're fighting house to house in some godforsaken village. You're getting shot at from what seems like everywhere, and you can't see any of the shooters because they're hiding behind buildings concealed in windows, or dug in behind rocks. Remember the rule. You have to see him to shoot him. Now, don't get me wrong. Soldiers have been training at fighting an enemy undercover, well, pretty much forever. Doing it, though, is hard, and it's dangerous. You can use hand grenades or grenade launchers, but you have to get close to do it, and even then, it's pretty inaccurate. There are also mortars would shoot along at a high up and down arc, but I'll bet those are never around when the infantry infantrymen really need them. Then there's calling in an airstrike, but that takes time, and when you're pinned down under enemy fire, every second counts. Without any of that, the foot soldier is left with his rifle. Well, that's about to change, and on a fairly large scale. The U.S. Army last week awarded a $65.8 million contract to Alliant Tech Systems in Plymouth, Minnesota, better known as ATK. Now they're going to start full-scale production of what will be the first widely deployed infantry weapon that, yes, shoots around corners. Now this weapon has kind of an amusing name. It's the XM-25 Counter Defilade Target Engagement System. But don't let this vague and ponderous name fool you. This is a serious weapon that's actually pretty simple and elegant in its design. And it's already getting the attention of some Taliban fighters in Afghanistan. The Army infantrymen who use the XM-25 have a much better name for it. They call it the Punisher. This weapon is slightly bigger than a standard infantry assault rifle. It's fitted with a laser rangefinder and shoots 25 millimeter exploding bullets that are about, oh, about that big. The soldier using it engages the laser, ra laser rangefinder to measure, measure the distance to a building corner, window sill, or rock outcropping where the enemy is hiding, and the weapon automatically programs its projectile to explode two feet farther on. Translated. That means a small, precision-guided grenade explodes right in the enemy's face. And just when you thought it was safe to go back in the foxhole. For the Military and Aerospace Electronics Report, I'm John Keller.